It was December 16, 1942, and the world was at war. A young Lieutenant Colonel Franklin T. Mathias and two engineers from the DuPont Chemical Company were scouting locations for a top-secret war project. As their plane flew across Horse Heaven Hills and along the Columbia River, our mid-Columbia home would change forever. Colonel Mathias was the commander over the Hanford Works project for the Manhattan Project, as well as for um, creating our original city of Richland. And nowhere in the city was there anything saluting him for the work that he did. And so we thought that, that there had to be something done. And so th the program started, or the process started for the project of doing a memorial for Colonel Mathias. We're currently uh, soliciting funds to complete the project. We're hoping to have it uh, dedicated uh, the first week in September. Miles, who is the founder and project coordinator for the Historic Streets Project, a citizen-led group that placed 207 historical biography signs throughout Richland neighborhoods in 2012, is leading this new campaign. The same as with we did with the Historic Street signs, it's all, it was nonprofit and it was done by private donation as well as from business and commercial entities. And uh, fortunately because of that and their contributions, we were able to complete the project in 13 months. We're hoping that we can do this project in five. We're, we've already begun. Uh, we have a sculptor. He's, he has agreed and is working on right now the sculpture of the bust of Colonel Matthias. We're attempting and working on to having it placed in um, or on the grounds of the Richland City Library. And it's in a prime spot that will be you know, protected but enjoyed. It'll also have a biography about Colonel Matthias and his feelings about his contribution to Richland and the Hanford Project. I, I'm kind of a history buff myself, but I didn't really know who he was, and I didn't know that he started all this. Knowing that he was only 34 and he was put in charge of such a big project, I think is uh, really remarkable. Well, it was one thing that led to another, I guess. I, I, I started off by going to the, the library to just to donate some of my work, and um, our exhibit or whatever, um, and they, uh, they were really impressed with it, and she got a hold of uh, the head librarian got a hold of Karen, and uh, and it just kind of went from there. And she uh, approached me to do this uh, uh, monument piece. And any artist would would consider it kind of an honor to do this. You know, the exposure um, to to do the uh, I guess kind of one of our founding fathers. I guess you could say that of the Tri Cities. But like, who wouldn't want to do this? The proposed site selection for the Matthias Monument will be at the Richland Public Library near the corner of Gothels and Swift. Plans are to include a concrete pathway from the sidewalk to the monument and lighting for security purposes. Uh, Oak Ridge has um, monuments to Oppenheimer and to Leslie Groves who spent most of their times at Oak Ridge and at Los Alamos and Richland has nothing. But the um, economy that we have, the versatility we have, the uh, continuing scientific efforts that are made here. Everything that's here is because the decision was made by Colonel Mathias, a 34-year-old young lieutenant colonel at the time, flew over this area and said, this is the place. 